too much there, 4040. Just, uh, like I said, kind of chilling, like, chilling, like I've got one in there. I'm just wanting to get out there and see what the hell. Uh, doing a little bit of this, that, and the other. Kind of got some time off of work, and, uh, works out pretty good while the Mother Nature is doing its thing. So I figured I'd come out here and spike the mic. Yeah, Roger on that, man. Roger on that. Now, hey, man, that box of yours, bro, does that have a, a single uh, 250B or is that two 250Bs? That's a dual. That would be double 250Bs, Kyle. Roger on that. Yeah, because I, uh, I was looking to get one of them uh, DX300s with a single. I was looking to get one of them DX300s. Got a guy on uh, online. I'm thinking about uh, picking one up. I think that'd be a real good deal. Uh, I can't remember who it was last night I was talking to. He was uh, running the muck with his single. And I got another uh, friend of mine up here, Tin Man. He has a single 250B. And I've actually ran a single 250B for a while. They're real nice. They're good for about 600 Big old swing monster, man. They work real good. Yeah, Roger and that. And I figure that'd be a good driver, you know what I mean? That'd be a doggone good driver for a... for a good box, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was hoping one day to get a box I could use this as a driver for, but... Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit down the road. What do you think? Yeah. Thinking about uh, looking at this, uh, looking at a, a six, uh, six five hundred Z box. I think that it hit it just about perfect. Oh yeah, that'd be real nice on that. Six five hundred Zs. Yeah, that'll that'll get the job done. And yeah, that'll get me crack a lackling. That'll get me crack a on just a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think uh, if I remember right, a few years back, or quite a few years back, I think 250 had one of those with nine of them in there, didn't he? I think he had ten. Could be nine, though. I think it was ten. I used to have a picture of the box he sent me. Yeah, that, uh, that doggone thing, he was, uh, he was putting that hammer down with that thing. I just like a tube sound, steel tube sound, I don't know. But those 250Bs, man, seem not to make that steel tube sound. You know that sound that I, I can't explain? I got a 3000. I've got a 3000, and it makes that certain sound I don't like. Yeah, 10 4. 10 4, I'm just kind of adjusting the antenna a little bit. Mother Nature's doing its thing here a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I definitely, you know, shit. I've been uh, turning and burning on this thing for about six, seven years now, and I had to replace this set in the early beginning because uh, my station got hit by lightning and took them out. But other than that, I've been running the same set. I have a spare set, too. But uh, yeah, it's just freaking rock solid, man. Supposedly they're pretty temperamental, but I don't know. Box I got takes a goddamn beating. Yeah, as long as you ain't overdriving the piss out of them. From what I, uh, from what I gather, man, if you just don't drive the piss out of them, they'll, they'll last forever. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping, you know. 250 B's are about a hundred bucks a whack, and, uh, yeah, so I don't see myself buying any anytime soon, being I got spares and. This one's going to wear out, Derek. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing, homeboy. It's a doggone good thing. I mean, they're down a little bit, but they've been down to where they're at now for shit a couple years. I mean, when they're brand new, there was a whole lot of loving going on in here, but uh, it's still doing over a, a bushel, so I'm happy. Yeah, bushel's all you need, man, really. A bushel. A bushel always gets you there, gets you heard. You know what they say, sometimes even a grand won't even get you on the band. 
Yeah, oh, I don't know. I kind of beg to differ on that, especially after listening to that video game last week. Holy moly, that thing was working. She was working right now, homeboy. I'm getting you, you sliding down to nine now, but you were 30. It's going back and forth. It's just a Mother Nature thing, but, uh, yeah, man, shoot, I'm only talking on a, I'm just talking on a two-peel, only doing about 80 bird. Got this thing turned down to 80 bird right there, man. <laughs> Let the antenna do the work, man. That's what I say. Let the doggone antenna do the work. Yeah, for Raya. For Raya. I might actually have a line on another antenna. Same kind I got, but two more elements. I might have a line on a uh, six element Moonraker. How rare is that, Cotton Bigger? No kidding, man. What do, you, what do you got now? You got a four right now? Yeah, it's four element Moonraker. And right now, yeah, I just raised it up a little while ago. We're sitting about 72 feet. Dude, I just stack them, bro. Just stack them, bro. Stack two fours, man. That'll give you uh, enough gain to, to knock out a shoot, man. You, you'd be terrorized. Oh, yeah. Well, like my partner down the street, Daffy Duck, he's got uh, stacked fives, man. That thing's brutal. Yeah, 410. 410 on that. Yeah, I've seen his stuff there on uh. <clears throat> on Joe Gunn's site. Yeah, I definitely, uh... Yeah, I might be moving, so, uh... When I move, uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, Get rid of the Yagi and put up a quad, man. I might even stack a couple quads. I'm not sure, man. But when I get out of here, I'm gonna, uh... Probably go to a quad there, Roger. Yeah, 10 four. I heard you talking about that a couple of days ago, about maybe uh, hitting uh, the middle of the road up somewhere around Oregon. That'd be really good. Is it possible that you could put a little fire in the wire? My conditions up here are kind of kind of tough. I'm kind of struggling. Yeah, I hear you. Damn it. <clears throat> my, my daughter's watching her cartoons right now. She's watching them on the... I could turn it up a little bit. I could turn this two peel up a little bit. Hello, radio. I could turn this thing up a little bit. How about that? Or do I need to get in the pump and burn up my junk? I hear somebody yelling one one one. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, monkey. Let me uh, give me a few minutes, man. My daughter's watching the DVR. When she's watching the DVR, I can't, I can't crank it up for some reason. For some reason, when she watches the DVR, I get into it. I don't get into the regular cable, just the DVR. Hi, right, Monkey Radio, let me get my knees in the breeze. 40-40, cruise, and these two peels, I'm gone. All conditions are good right there. <laughs> that was loud and clear all up in the 8-9S unit there. But, uh, yeah, that's cool, man. Like I said, I'm just chilling like a villain, and uh, appreciate you doing the video game last week, dude. That was uh, pretty nice stuff there. I like that a lot. <laughs> that was good stuff. You'll dig this right here, man. I got you 30 dBs. Swing it in the 30 dBs, though. But, uh, like I said, man, if I, uh, I might be moving out to the Valley of Cali, too, man. I might go out, uh, might go out and move out to the valley in California, too. It depends, man. It depends. I might, uh, move out to the valley, too, so. That'd be cool, too, because they got good conditions out there, man. They usually got better conditions than I got there, Roger. Yeah, 10-4. Hey, let me ask you a little question, a little radio check here. I'm doing this right here. That's where I kind of do my local talking and stuff like that. Does it help a lot, help out quite a bit if I uh, modulate like that, come on? Yeah, you definitely, uh, you definitely swing it a little harder. You definitely swing a little harder with the, with the audio there, Roger. I see more DBs. You'll see it on the video gate there, Roger. Yeah, 10-4. Yeah, I just, uh...